Hey everyone, Joe here. Uh, welcome to Gender Queer Chat. I've completely lost track of the week, so I will uh, try and figure that out and put it in the title. I know I said that last week. So I made this video a few days ago in a beautiful sunny spot in front of my house in a sunbeam. And I said everything perfectly exactly the way I wanted to say it, and then the camera ate my video. I'm gonna try this round two. Um, luckily, my camera is not broken. I was afraid my camera was broken. The card was shot. And so now I'm on a one gig card instead of a four gig card. Okay, so the topic this week, I picked it, was about your relationship with your parents. And um, what? how would you describe your relationship with your parents? Uh, part two, I believe, was how do they feel about your gender queerdom? And part three was are they uh, binary oriented folks themselves? Um, so how do I... What is my relationship with my parents? I get along extremely well with my parents. Um, more importantly, I love them and they love me. And um, I think love is very, very important and very underrated when it comes to parental relationships with your parents because I think a lot of people love them superficially or whatever. No, I genuinely, genuinely love my parents. Um, more my mom. I know I've mentioned before in previous videos I've had a my weird relationship with my dad. My father is an alcoholic and um, look who just showed up. I know. Um, and I have a lot of resentment about that. Some of the resentment did steep into, um, look at you. Some of it did steep into my, my relationship with my mother. I had a lot of resentment towards my mother in my lifetime because um, she chose to have children with a guy like that. And uh, he didn't, he never wanted children. That was kind of obvious. And he actually said so. He had, we have, I have a video, like a home video of when I was 18, 19 years old. And uh, we're asking him, and he's drunk in the video, you know, do you regret having kids? And he says yes, and I could have had a much more interesting life without them. So it's no wonder my sister and I don't have children. I mean, we were kind of taught to believe that, you know, it's more fun being single. But anyway, we're being alone. Not alone, but, you know, without children. Child free. Um... My parents are 70 this year. Um, as they age, I feel more I worry about them dying. I worry about life without them. We talk on the phone every single day, my mom and me and my sister, and my dad frequently picks up the extension. You're going to get a lot of this, I'm sorry. You get to see, ah, oh, Mike is going to like this. He likes videos of Stanley. You're going to see a lot of Stanley in this one. Hi, baby. I'm his mama. Um... And I don't know if you can hear him purring or not, but he's going ballistic. Um, my dad picks up the extension and, you know, participates in the conversation a little bit. He's he's kind of a strange fellow. He keeps... He's shy and introverted. And my sister and my mother and I are very, very extroverted and not shy. And dad doesn't really get a word in edgewise. And he doesn't really have a lot of opinions on things. Um, we're, we're all very opinionated, the women in my family. Anyway... So the first part of that question is, yes, I do have a very good relationship with my parents. Um, part two is, how do they feel about my gender queerdom? You know, it's kind of a non-issue because we're all, I always, this is how I describe my family to people. My parents, and you get his bum. I don't want to see your bum. Um, my parents were the black sheets of their respective families, and they met and married and had two little blacker than black sheeps. I mean, the whole fa all of us march to the beat of our own accordion, as I like to say. And, um, you know, we all are just so oddball and off the beaten path in so many ways that being genderqueer is just one of them, as far as my parents are concerned. I don't know that my dad, I don't know that I've ever used the term genderqueer to my father. I don't think he would even care. Like, I think, I, I just have a recollection when I was in my teens, late teens, early 20s, I think I posted pictures some time ago of I had a shaved head and I looked uh, very in-your-face, gender variant. And uh, at the time, my father thought I was a lesbian. And at the time, he didn't use the word lesbian. He used the word gearbox. And I remember my dad just assumed I was a gearbox. And shortly thereafter, my sister uh, had a girlfriend for a little while. Yeah, shortly after that, my sister had a girlfriend for a little while. And my dad flipped. He flipped his lid. He turned every picture in the house of my sister backwards and he wouldn't speak to her and my mother wouldn't speak to her. So they were very homophobic at one point in their evolution. Um, interestingly, um, I descend from uh, four grandparents, all of whom were horrid racists. So I remember one grandmother one telling, once telling me that if, she, if I married a black man, she'd disown me or some such crap. Wow, he's full of love. 
Um, so, how do they feel about my gender queerdom? You know, I, I showed, Mum was in a video a few weeks back, the one about um, gendered classrooms. My mom gets it in a way, but not really. She doesn't really get what gender variant means politically. She gets what it means as it pertains to me. I, I am not your average daughter. And she gets that you can't call me Joanne. And she gets that I'm never getting married. And she gets that um, I don't shave and that I don't, you know, wear specific clothes. Well, actually, this ties into the next round, which is are your parents, do your parents participate in the gender binary? And they do not, actually. Um, my dad, to a certain extent, uh, well, he's, you know, Mr. George P. And he, you know, he wears men's clothes and stuff like that. But I mean, my dad is not a typical guy. He's, he's very, very shy and... Stanley. My dad is very shy and um, he's very polite and he's very respectful, which is kind of weird because he grew up in a very thuggish part of town and all of his friends were mafiosos and longshoremen and various thugs. My dad, by the way, belongs to an all men's, a men's club and we get mad at all, all the time because when my sister and I were young, we were like, why can't we join? Oh, because it's, we don't have penises. That's right. But in this men's club, um, I know he's been friends with these guys for, you know, 60 something years. Um, when he was in his teens and 20s, I think they called him fag regularly because he never had a girlfriend until my mother and he met her at 29. And he also was very respectful towards women, which all of his other friends weren't. Um, my dad also wears like, he doesn't swear and he wears like a pair of slacks. He never wears jeans. He never dresses like a slob. He, he's always kind of wearing a collared shirt and a pair of dress pants. Um, he's a nice guy, like, but he's not, um, he's not macho. There's nothing macho about my father at all. He also is not very handy. He, my mother was the fix-it person in the house when we were growing up. Now, mom, on the other hand, is totally tomboy. Like, she never wears makeup. She, she wears, um, she won't wear a bra. She doesn't wear a bra in years. And she wouldn't even mind me telling you that, I'm sure. And she... She wears pretty much men's clothes a lot of the time. She's a lot like me. She's alive. Apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. But she always wanted to be a mother. And she always wanted to get married and have kids. She had romantic notions. And half of me thinks that that comes from the generation she came from. She's like Peggy Olsen, if you watch Mad Men. Um, my mother is exactly the age that Peggy was in the show. Um, in 1960, when the show begins, she's 19. Peggy's 19 and my mother was 19 in 1960, working as a secretary, a grossly underpaid secretary. And uh, she didn't get married till 1970, so for 10 years my mom worked. She was an independent person, and, you know, it's funny, because oh, I'm not even going to bother trying to settle him down. Um, if you ask my mom what she wanted for her kids, uh, you know, she had two daughters, um, she would say, uh, quite candidly, like, some people want, you know, their kids to get, grow up, get married, and have kids, or be happy, or this or that. My mom just wanted us to be independent. She wanted independent daughters, that's all she wanted. And she got that in spades. Um, but on the whole, uh, my parents are a huge influence on me. We really are a close-knit family. Um, we don't always agree. We don't always like each other. By the way, I come from, I don't know that, uh, this might not mean anything to the non-Americans, but um, my mother's family, some of them are American. They're Bush-loving Republicans. They're, they're born-again Christian. Bush love and Republicans and so my mother has a bit of that fun fundy in her where she gets we had we've had arguments politically in the past and we will really have it out like we do argue like cats and dogs about certain things she's not too bad she's not like the rest of her family settle down hey um but the fact that the fact that we can talk to each other like that and we do we do talk politics I mean I ran in three elections for God's sakes and and we do have um Hamlet's treats, I see. We do have the, a very open relationship and a friendship. You know, we're friends with one another. We enjoy each other's company. Um, they've been a huge influence on me, including my freedom to express myself the way I wanted to and the way I felt like I had to. Um, even when I was a little kid, Mom said I always used to dress in my clothes backwards and I was always just a weirdo, just a little weirdo, and I always, I never liked dresses or skirts or anything like that. 
And she was fine with that. She was, she encouraged it. She never expected me to be anything other than what I was organically. And she encouraged us to evolve organically. I think that's so precious. I really do. Um, I think love and unconditional love. Stanley's chewing on my finger. I'm really sorry about this disconnected video because he's in my face. And he wants more treats. Um, having parents who unconditionally love you and accept you for what you are, I think makes a massive difference in how you turn out in life. Um, and, I, and I'm very grateful, very grateful for it. I think that's it. Have a good week.